Welcome back to the Samurai Chronicles. Today we embark on an exciting journey to the historic city of Kishiwada, where time-honoured traditions and lively festivities come alive. Kishiwada is located in the southern part of Osaka and is renowned for its rich history and cultural significance. Home to its vibrant and energetic Danjili Festival, whereby large wooden floats called Danjili are raced at high speeds through the city, which has even been developed to accommodate for the sheer size of the floats, Kishiwada is also famous for its stunning castle, a symbol of the city's feudal past. Now I've come to Kishiwada's very own Danjili Hall to learn all about Kishiwada's Danjili Festival. Like and subscribe. Danjili are large, intricately crafted wooden carts that embody the spirit and excitement of the festival. These remarkable Danjili carts are known for their impressive size, standing several meters tall and weighing several tons. With elaborate decorations and ornate carvings, each Danjali is a work of art in itself. These carvings typically depict various creatures such as dragons, lions and gargoyles, which symbolise strength, power and good fortune, as well as legendary figures, historical scenes and battles that offer a glimpse into the rich cultural history of the region. During the festival, teams of dedicated participants pull and manoeuvre these colossal carts through the streets with incredible energy and precision. This showcases their strength, skill and teamwork. At the Kishiwada Danjili Hall, you can try out a variety of different experiences and see a great deal of interesting things, including these miniature Danjili. There was even one made from used beer cans. So now we're going to try and play these taiko drums. Yay. Two, a one, two, three, four. Although boasting a history that spans over 600 years, the original main keep of Kishiwada Castle emerged during the turbulent late 16th century, known as the Sengoku period, a time characterized by civil war and unrest throughout Japan. In our quest for knowledge, we have arrived at Kishiwada Castle, where we have the privilege of speaking with Mr. Yamaoka from Kishiwada City Hall, who will shed further light on its captivating history. So firstly, um, what sort of historical significance does Kishiwada Castle hold? Kishiwada Castle is a large part of the city. One is the city of 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 で、もう一つはあの和歌山の勢力がこう安定してあの特にあの敵対勢力じゃなくなった時には大阪城を守るための位置づけというふうに変わっていきます。なるほど。The origins of the first Kishiwada Castle, its creator and exact location remain largely uncertain. However, in the late 1500s, it came under the control of the uncle of one Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who is lauded as one of Japan's great unifiers. During this period, the castle keep was constructed with five stories and served as a defensive stronghold to protect Osaka from the south. Tragically, the castle met its demise when it was struck by lightning in the 1800s and only the walls surrounding the moat have survived. Nevertheless, a reconstruction effort took place in the years following the Second World War, resulting in the castle's restoration. So one thing we have in, in the West, and this is certainly what my impression was when I first came to Japan, is you see a big castle keep such as this. And at these castles where I'm from in the United Kingdom, they're often places where people would actually live in. So we often go to castles within Europe with the expectation that we're going to see uh, beds and living rooms and living quarters. Um, I want to ask you about what the actual purpose is of uh, a tenshikaku, a castle keep such as this. とですね、
でそ,こそこはこう物見の矢倉でありあのだったんですけどだんだんある時期からあの、まあ、それこそあの戦乱のが終わってからは権威の象徴として扱われるようになりましたですからあのそれまでは武骨なで、ね、木造で黒い板を張ってというような天守だったんですけど、まあ、江戸時代の時からあの白く塗られるそれこそお城なんですよね、はい、ですからこういった白いお城というのはやっぱり権威の象徴なんだろうなと思います。うん特に住む場所あの戦時中、戦乱があれば進んだと思うんですけど、実際はほぼ使わずに、あ,のあくまでもこう、櫓としては使っているというのが本当だと思います。Right, so we have now come to the top of the castle keep, and we're now looking down onto the stone garden. So, what does this actually mean? I can see a series of rocks, but I don't really understand. えーっとですね、ここのお庭というものにはたくさんの意味が込められるんですね実はですから今ここに見えてるお庭の意味というのはあの平和を守るためにあのここの中世の城の縄張りを示してそこに陣を配置したというふうに重森さんは言ってます。Japanese rock gardens, known as Karisansu in Japanese. Are tranquil spaces that can often be found at temples and monasteries across Japan, offering a place for meditation and mindfulness. In these gardens, gravel or sand is meticulously raked in straight lines, symbolizing the ripples on water's surface, and the large rocks strategically placed in the garden represent majestic mountains, adding to the overall aesthetic. The act of raking serves as a way to cultivate a deep connection with nature and the other elements within the garden. Traditionally, at temples, the gravel is raked in strict, straight lines. It is even believed that someone with a troubled heart would struggle to create perfectly straight lines. However, in the case of this particular garden, the designer strongly expressed his desire for freedom and creativity. As you can see, the result is a captivating arrangement of curvy shapes and patterns in the raked gravel, inviting a more organic and expressive approach. During my conversation with Mr. Yamoka, we delved into the significance of the prominent clusters of stones within the garden. He explained that each of the four outer stones represents one of the four celestial animals, which symbolize the balance and harmony of nature and the universe in Asian mythology. These creatures also correspond to the four cardinal directions. In the north, we find the representation of the black tortoise, an emblem of longevity and protection. In the south, We encounter the vibrant presence of the red phoenix, a mythical bird associated with rebirth and good fortune. Heading east, we come across the azure dragon, a powerful symbol of wisdom and imperial authority. And lastly, we have the white tiger of the west, a majestic guardian that embodies courage and strength. Interestingly, what sets the garden at Kishiwada Castle apart is the positioning of these celestial animals. Here, The black tortoise does not face north as expected, and the red phoenix does not face south. Instead, the black tortoise directly aligns with the castle keep, emphasizing the castle's importance and reverence within the landscape. In the heart of where the four celestial animals converge, legend speaks of a fifth mystical beast, the Chirin, arriving only in times of tranquility, heralding positive transformations like the emergence of a wise ruler or a shift to a more peaceful time. Intriguingly, This garden lacks a Chinin stone. Mr. Yamaoka suggests this intentional absence invites visitors to reflect on the current state of peace and ponder why the Chinin has not yet appeared. Beyond its castle and vibrant festival, Kishiwada is also renowned for its traditional Japanese sweets. Now, let's take a delightful detour to a local Japanese confectionery shop that has been serving these delectable treats since the 1830s. So I've come here to Kayama Baikazo to try some traditional Japanese sweets. バイカムラサメっていうお菓子なんですけど、えー、と小豆と米粉と砂糖を配合してあの蒸,し蒸し上げた蒸し菓子ですけど、はいすねはい、あと創業は天保10年であの、まあ、約180年になります、はい、あのやっぱりお城のあるところはどうしてもあの和菓子お城に献上したりとかそういうのがあって、はい、城下町ですんでねはい、このバイカムラサメはお殿様にも献上されていたそうです。早速私たちもいただきました。うん、うん、すごい美味しいです。美味しい。<笑>日本の和菓子についてはまた別の動画で特集したいと思います。
お楽しみに。美味しかったです。あ,ありがとうございます。ごちそうさまでした。すみません。Visiting the castle and learning about the Danjiki festival was fantastic, but just by walking through the streets of Kishiwada, you can't help but feel the lingering echoes of the past as the historical atmosphere envelops you. From the tranquil garden and awe inspiring might of the castle to the culturally rich, energetic Danjili festival and traditional Japanese treats, every step on this journey has revealed a glimpse into the city's profound heritage. And for those looking for a destination where you can not only learn about history but feel it too, I couldn't recommend Kishiwada more. Next time on the Samurai Front, we are going to talk about how to wear a kimono, samurai style. <laughs>